Hi there, I'm James from Jack's Beer, Wine, and Spirits. Really excited today to be at Nanaimo. Nanaimo drives Columbus Meat Markets. They have a fantastic variety of, of meats, different prices, qualities, and I'm really, really excited about hearing what you have for us. Hi, I'm here at Eugene, the owner of Columbus Meat Market. Been in business for the last 30 years, uh, third generation butcher, and I'm really happy to have you guys here. Thanks so much. So let's start with uh, the chicken here. So we have a local uh, uh, chicken, uh, uh, rice to marinate into uh, uh, lemon uh, lemon herbs and uh, with a little bit of a touch of white wine, and it uh, gives you a citrus uh, flavor. The cooking period is about three to five minutes each side on the barbecue. Fantastic. So yeah, to keep with the citrus here, we have Strathcona Rattler. This has some lemon peel and orange juice actually mixed in. A little bit lower alcohol by volume than uh, typical beer, so great to have in the day. Uh, and yeah, you really want to highlight the citrus notes from the chicken breast there. Next we have, it's a triple A over beef, uh, short rib cut into Maui rib and marinate with uh, in-house Maui sauce. Uh, cooking period is about three to five minutes on the barbecue. Okay, fantastic. So with this, we have the Crash Blossom Pineapple Hibiscus. It's our vodka soda, really healthy, you know, uh, under 100 calories, and the pineapple notes there complement the rich tropical flavors of the Maui ribs. We can't be traveling at all right now, but hopefully this is to have a little meal vacation. Great. Next we have, it's a triple A Alberta beef ribeye steak. Uh, you can see by the cap, it's really a lot of marbling. Uh, cooking period is about five minutes on the barbecue each side. Awesome. So yeah, with, with that to come with the fact there, we want to have a wine with some structure and power to balance it out. So this is our exclusive Poppy Cabernet Sauvignon from Paso Robles. The tannins will kind of help cut through that rich fat flavor and it has enough structure and body to kind of balance out the seasoning of that steak as well. Here we have an A5 Wagyu beef from Japan. You can see why it's an A5 because it's got a lot of marbling and uh, it's a really high end of meat. They, they raise these animals for three years and they feed them a, a sake mash, they feed them beer, they massage, and uh, the cooking period is about three minutes on, on one side, flip it over another minute, and it gives you the, the umami the um, umami flavor. Right. That's why it's so great to eat a piece of meat like that. No, I, I mean, with, with this, you really want to highlight the, the fat there, the marbling and umami flavors. We want a wine to complement it and bring it out instead of overpowering it. So here we have fabulous Bruno Grimaldi Nebbio with Elba. Doesn't quite have the tannins of a Barolo or Barbaresco or even the Poppy Cap Sav here, but what it will do is it will kind of bring out that rich flavor here, complement it with some red fruit and some spice, and yeah, definitely let the, the meat be the star of the pairing. Here. Great. Yeah, thank you so much again for having us. Really excited about trying trying all these. Cannot wait to try the Wagyu beef uh, with these pairings as well. So thanks so much again. Cheers. Cheers. Very happy to have you guys here. Thank you very much.